G'day friends and welcome back. You are of course with Huey. And of course we are continuing on with the, our Red Dead Redemption 2 campaign replay. And by replay I mean um, I did completely play through the campaign back over just over a year ago now. So revisiting it. Um, if you haven't been keeping with you know up to date with the episodes that's fair enough they are an hour and a half long each um, which is also why I'm only releasing them once per week um, so we unfortunately lost Hamish so I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit upset by that because I did really like Hamish Hamish was a pretty cool dude I liked uh, hunting with him you know, it's one of those funny old guys you just like hanging out with. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, so I was a little bit upset by that, but you know, it is what it is. Um, so now <clears throat> we've got Eagle Flies who wants some help from us. So I think we should go help Eagle Flies now since we're up this way. Yeah, I've got enough ammo. Cool. I want to make sure I've got everything ready that I need. Yep. Oh, I've actually got to go out this way, do I? I've got to go through here. Alright. Cut down this way then. Damn. Didn't realize I had to go back up this way, but it, there you go. Oh, sorry, boy. Still can't use weapons. Alright. There we go. He's a big horse. Uh, okay. Thanks for breaking my immersion game. <laughs> anyway. Treasure hunters. Is that a treasure hunter? Why is it telling me that? I didn't know there's a thing in uh, single player. Hello. Hey, Mister. Fire is always better with company. Come and rest. Okay. Mm. So where are you from, friend? I am from Mexico. I left because my best friend, a man I'd known my whole life, betrayed me. And why am I telling you this? Because often the company of strangers is the best kind. The closer we get, the more cruel we become. See, you know it too. I don't know how well you know the town of uh, Annisburg. But they tell a story of three brothers, close as can be, until greed destroyed them. They'd found gold together, but one of them ran off with it all. Now, the three of them lie dead. Carry on. They say, the brother marked the spot where he'd hidden the gold with tree carvings, until he was followed there and shot dead by one of the other brothers. As far as I know, it's never been found. And neither as the body of my best friend. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I rested long enough. Let's 
Very cryptic. And I got the wrong bloody rolling block again. Err. Well. So, say we could buy a treasure map, but we couldn't actually buy a treasure map. But that's okay. There's the bridge we blew up. It's just some clues. Um, maybe at some point... <laughs> you know, maybe at some point, like, when we're close to a treasure area, it'll let us know. Let's see what happens. Help me off this goddamn horse. Please cut me free. Oh, oh, thank the Lord you showed up when you did. Oh, the things he said he'd do to me. It's all right, ma'am. It's over now. Thank you. Again. All right. All right. Well, I had him. I, I didn't kill him. So. That's got to count, right? Just leave him there. folks around here. running into you, it would seem. So yeah, gotta keep doing that to get that horse bonding up. So what are they doing? So good of you to join us. What's going on? Rebellion. The smell of cordite and integrity. It is a beautiful thing. What are you all doing? An eye for an eye. We didn't start this, Arthur. They did. We? This ain't our fat. It surely is. Whatever it is you're planning, it ain't a good idea. They want you to fight. Nobody will be killed. We're just gonna trap a few of them in the valley, disarm them, tar and feather them, and remind them to leave these boys alone. You have energy for pranks? Come on, Arthur. Just tweaking Uncle Sam's nose a little. I need you to help me. All right. It's perfect. 
people will see these boys. They won't notice us, and they'll think we're gone. Everyone will blame everything on the Indian problem, and we'll disappear up the river. But first, we need to trap them in this pass. Help me dynamite up these trees. So, you're using them? No, sir. No. Never. But it is mutually beneficial to draw attention to one problem and a veil over another. These are good people, but their situation is real complex. We ain't helping them. Sure we are. Come on, let's get this done. All right. We don't have a lot of time. The patrol should be coming in a few minutes. Okay. Hurry, Archie. I'll plant the dynamite. You run the wire. We'll keep lookout from up here. All right. I sent for some of that dynamite you and Bill commandeered in Van Horn. Good work with that, by the way. Bill played drunk. The perfect man for the job. So... You finally got to see Colm Hank. Yeah. After all those years, hard to believe. Oh, but it was worth the wait. See? We're tying up the loose ends, Arthur. One by one. At what cost? Quick now, Arthur. Everyone into position. My spotter will let us know when they're near. They're coming now. Ah, oh, damn. Patrol's a lot larger than we thought it was going to be. <laughs> Don't worry. That's a good thing. Okay, that's the signal. Here they come. Stay low and quiet. You sure you don't want me to man that plunger, Arthur? No, I got it. Oh, remove the weight of the world from your shoulders for a minute. Like I said, we're just going to give them a bit of a scare. There they are. Looks like more than we thought. It's fine. We're only here to talk and administer a little good old-fashioned humiliation. You're owed that, son, at the very least. Wait for my lead, men. Everyone just stay calm. We've got the upper hand here. Okay. They've passed. Put your hands up. You're surrounded. Nobody need get hurt. Your humiliation of us has gone on quite enough. This ain't a good idea. Put down your guns. You are making a mistake, boy. No. You're making a mistake. Put your hands up, soldier. Take a little humiliation and leave these fine folks alone. Who are you? A concerned citizen. Is that so? What now? We should move. No, 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 not quite yet. Soldier, you and your friends gonna tuck tail and run off? Run! Excuse me? I'm getting bored of this. 
Your friends fired first, soldier! Jeez. My father won't be happy about this. Take fire! It's the army. It is one regiment of pastry chefs and bullies. Watch your goddamn mouth. All of you, take what you can, and then we move out. Move now. We have to move now. Now yeah, we can take some stuff. All right, that'll do. Why aren't we getting out of here? They might have information on them that'll help our friends with their cause. We need anything my father can use to strengthen our case. I ain't sure much is gonna strengthen your case after this. Find anything? Yes. Some poor fool from New Jersey. These boys ain't the problem. They're only kids. Keep looking. Shit. Shit! Everyone, keep your heads down! Damn, they're sending riders from the fort we need to leave. But where's Peter? Was he killed? He's alive. Well, that went just about according to plan. I'm trying. I'm trying, Arthur, with everything I have, and I will keep trying, and you'll keep doubting me, and we'll keep failing. It ain't like that, Dutch. Look at me. Look at me! I'm just... I'm worried about folk. I know. I... We should go. Where's Eagle Flash? Run, son! Run! Come on! This area is gonna be crawling with soldiers in a few minutes. We gotta leave. Now! What about Eagle Flash? We gotta go, Arthur. Come on! Here, into the trees. 
What? Oh, so they're not supposed to catch up with you. you... So we got to keep going. I think it's meant to be an insta kill. I think that was meant to be an insta kill. Come on. Go. I was like, what the hell was that? <laughs> okay, let's dismount here. We won't get the horses down this path. All right, let's carry on by foot. Try and sell them a little. You're gonna die. Oh, there. Oh god, that was terrible. This is a losing battle, Arthur. Oh, we gotta do something. There's too many of them. Fall back. Got a hit. There's two. This is it. This. Well, Arthur, put your hands up. I said, put your damn hands up. Okay. Okay. Follow my lead. I got a plan. This is a good one. Hello, officers. You keep them hands up and come here. Put your hands up. Hello, Captain. Keep your hands up and come here. Come here. We, uh, we can't do that. Your man. Those men they killed? They were good men. You're fighting nature, Captain. Get over here! Ask my friend here. My whole life, I tried to fight change. It's a waste. I see that now. It's a waste. You can't fight nature, Captain. You can't fight change. You can't fight. Oh, yeah. 
Jesus. what we need. Oh, we just escaped from chaos. Eagle flies must have been taken. Taken or killed. Well, we can't go find out. No, not now. Charles, I'll, we'll send them. Where is it? <coughs> He's probably back at camp. Let's split up. I'll go tell them. You rest up. Keep a lookout. We are gonna make it, brother. I can feel it. Faith, Arthur. Have faith. Jesus Christ, that was, uh... Yeah, that one shot to the head. I was like, oh, yeah, you can't take those guys on. So, lesson learned there. Although I probably did say that previously, last time I played this, so just completely forgot. Alright. So, it's a bronze. Thank you for, uh, complete the mission without taking any health items. Does a respawn count as a health item? Maybe it does. But, you know, that was my fault. Anyway, um, oh, he's a bit tired. Can we, rest by the, can we sleep here? We can. Might go for the evening again. Hopefully I don't get jumped. Alright, feeling much better. How are our weapons looking? Pretty... Mm, they're okay. Sure, we've got a bounty on us? Nah, we're up in the Grizzlies, so I guess it doesn't count. So, next up is... Well, we've got Trelawney and then we've got Sadie. Let's go see Trelawney first. I don't think there was anything else I had to do. So it's, i got to get this uh, horse bonding done. Up the hill we go. Campfire over there, but we'll just keep going. Oh god damn, we gotta go near the fort. Yeah. 
probably not the best idea. Should do a spot of hunting. Where'd those turkeys go? somewhere grab a couple of turkeys these into Pearson when we go back. Oh, three star. Very nice. And another three star. Cool. And then we'll grab a deer or something on the way as well. Take it nice and easy. easy there. It's two star. You know what? It might do. Real good. All right, we got the whole thing. Put it on the horse and let's go back to camp. Good haul, boy. <gasps> yeah. That camp is. through that.
Yeah, no, I see. take a swig of this. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Oh, ain't no, ain't no healing this one, partner. Can't, can't stay, I can't fall. I get her. Now I'll leave him there. Poor bastard. Tried to help him. Oh well. And I won't give him a clean just yet. <clears throat> Should be alright. I don't think I do need though. I need more tobacco, actually. A chewing tobacco. Hamish's house. I mean, I should go and check it out, and see if he's got anything in there, but I don't know. Let's just get back, drop these off. Gone. That's your boy. There, boy. Get back. All right. Park her up. Aren't you cold in your No, I got two turkeys and a deer to, and a horse. Uh, I'm feeling sleepy. Feeling drunk. Jesus. All right, let's uh, donate. Bring me something soon if you can, Arthur. Yeah, how about? How about castrated them and fed them to the pigs while the rest of the to watch? Damn it all. One of those men was my uncle. All right, let's see what we got. Another was a friend of my parents. Did you know what those men had done? Thank you, Arthur. Good. They had suggested that the men of the village demand a fair wage from the local land. Let's go get some stew. see Trelawney now. How much time we got? Uh, yeah, more than enough. Damn mess, huh? 
Uh, Tom Uncle. Lane. You know, you might want to think about getting out of here soon. Go where? Just don't leave it too late. Yep. He makes a good point. Swanson. Gentlemen. Josiah? Hello, Phil. I, um, I was, uh... Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. <coughs> Perhaps. Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. <laughs> I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. No, no let's not get over sentimental. Well, the place is quiet. Get out of here. You go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. That's Trelawney gone. <sighs> Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Sir. How are you? A little better. I hope so. How can I help you? I'm sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances and mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember, but maybe this time... He must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? Well, we got words for his kind, but they're colloquial. Uh, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? Yes. It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. <clears throat> Do it for me. Charles, I got... I've saved your life. Do it for me. <sighs> sure. Come on. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiation. Let's go. <laughs> it's not wrong, though. Both of you, you have already done so much. Ain't a problem. Just hope nobody recognizes me. I've had a few run-ins with the army recently. I wish we could have done more to control the situation. That shouldn't have gotten involved. Now Eagle flies us under arrest. It certainly won't help our case today. I will find a way to help him. I promise you. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. I am not asking for very much, but when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld, how can we not view that as something personal? When they destroy our sacred sites, how can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. To be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. Thank you for helping Captain Monroe to retrieve those vaccines, Arthur. He will be at the meeting and is one person who knows the true situation, at least. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. Well, <clears throat> he's open, but I won't hold my breath.
been over there. Here we are. There's my men up ahead. Hello. Easy. We chase a killer now. Call out with young people. Heel ball. On your peak tailor. This way. Hitch my horse. Oh, hang on. Whoa, ah, can't get it. Probably best not to be walking around with weapons on my back anyway. Colonel Favors, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Interesting looking fellows. Yeah, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. <sighs> Listen, Mr. Uh... <coughs> Chief. Yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name. In English, they call me Rain's Fall. Yes, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm sure they do. <sighs> Listen, we're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I am confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. <coughs> Keep breaking peace treaties we've made, causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. So let me be very... You okay, man? Someone. Jackson, take him away. Where was I? You're gentlemen with limits? Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said, are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Rains. That's, uh, Rains' fault. Exactly. Chief Rains, the thing it's quite is, a cough. The federal government... Sure. Wait here. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. No, no. Mm. You know he's going to have Monroe court martialed. Or attempt to. He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? He seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Or a spy. He's convinced he had something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks Monroe is going to force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Removes how? Mm. Favors wants him tried for treason and hanged. Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. I mean, his whole professional life. You know what they say about him. Hightail favors. The man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. Kinda liked him. I know. Well, still, he's kinda stuck up. Your men violated the treaty. That treaty is null and void. I have been appointed to negotiate... Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> the lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <clears throat> so I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace, and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, well, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me? Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. 
Let him go. This is all getting out of hand. Hi, Captain Monroe. Let's get out of here. Hi, if I... I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. I don't want to kill this man, but shall me. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. Time to get out of here. Come on. Just let him go, okay? I'll kill you. Think about what you're doing. Okay. Oh, shit. Die. Oh, you're kidding. You literally go, what, 30 meters away? I could still see him on my mini map. What are you? Come on. Fucking stupid Come game. On. Seriously. <laughs>
go. Captain Monroe, you're with me. That was the dumbest, absolute most idiotic fail condition I have ever seen. Just saying. That did, that did hurt a bit. That's my last tobacco. You know what? I might go snake oil. I think we're fine. I think we're finally in the clear. That was a waste. Everybody okay? Not really. What do we do now? You get out of here. Fast. Take you to the station. I can't believe that just happened. I've been an army man my whole life. I heard them talk. They was gonna have you hang for treason. You can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? We'll do what we can. I... Guess I won't be submitting my report. I wouldn't think so. Oh, look, there just happens to be a train there for you, mate. <laughs> Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. Here's some money. You take it and get out of here and start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Just hop on a train to San Denis, jump on a boat, but avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. Meet me at the reservation. Hmm? Morgan! <clears throat> are you okay? Well, never better. What are you doing here? Well, I'm on my way down to Mexico. They're finally sending me on a mission. Huh. Brother Dorkins is very jealous. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? I'm, uh... Uh, I'm dying, sister. Okay. Yeah, I got TB. I got it. Beating a man to death <clears throat> for a few bucks. I've lived a bad life, sister. We've all lived bad lives, Mr. Morgan. We all sin. But I know you. You don't know me. Forgive me, but that's the problem. You don't know you. What do you mean? I don't know, but whenever we happen to meet, you're always helping people and smiling. I had a son. He passed away. I had a girl who loved me. I threw that away. My mama died when I was a kid, and my daddy, well, I watched him die, and weren't soon enough. My husband died a long time ago. Life is full of pain, but there is also love and beauty. Uh, what am I gonna do now? Be grateful that for the first time, you see your life clearly. Sure. Perhaps you could help somebody. Helping makes you really happy. <sighs> but I still don't believe in nothing. <laughs> Often neither do I. Huh? 
But then I meet someone like you, and everything makes sense. <laughs> You're too smart for me, sister. <sighs> I guess I... I'm afraid. There is nothing to be afraid of, Mr. Morgan. Take a gamble that love exists and do a loving act. All aboard. I shall try. I know you will. Goodbye, goodbye, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Sister. Well. <clears throat> Let's see. What an obscure objective. Kill a pursuer's horse? Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I missed a few shots. And, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure, uh... Retry checkpoint counts as using a health item, if you can believe that. Just a moment. Alright, I'll come around. around. Yeah. I guess I'll come around here. Good on you. Get a fresh start. No, nothing. Alright. Uh, so we've got Sadie up in Annesburg. So I could go see her. Um, Thanks, Mister. First things first, though. I need to clean my weapons, and I'm getting low on ammo, actually. So that's something I've got to be very mindful of. Low on express ammo, so it's not too drastic. Give the horse a quick clean as well. What? <laughs> clean the damn horse. <laughs> Let's get you cleaned up. How's my rolling board? Uh, that's a varmint. Okay. Rolling block. Barely dirty at all. Okay. Alright, we've got another mission that's just popped up as well. C for... Charles Smith. Charles needs to speak with me. I'll deal with him uh, probably next episode, but this one, we want to go see Sadie. Maybe we actually might get a mission with Sadie. Last time, last time it said Sadie Adler, and we ended up doing work for friggin' Dutch. So, maybe this time, uh, hang on. Am I out of alcohol? I, oh, no, nope, I'm not. Brandy. Good stuff, that. Is that brandy? I bought... I think I got a couple of bottles at the beginning and I bought another one. It's, I think that's the first time I've actually used it.
There's plenty of bourbon. Mask time. It's like a instructions area. Okay. Yeah, that's it, boy. Yeah. Two dead bodies are still there. Let's get, huh? Well, you're too late. You're all right, boy. Oh, let's get. Like, let's get out of here. All right. Go on, get. Say, so, let's get what? <laughs> let's get herpes. Ain't no pleasure, baby. I just want to talk to Sadie, the awesome lady. Who's like, looks very scary right now. Sadie? You okay? Peach? You sure? No, I ain't sure. You still working? Is anybody still working? Oh goddamn place full of people bickering, fighting and lying. It makes me real sad. I know. I need someone to ride with me. Do what? Finish off them of Driscoll's. I hear the last of them is holed up at Hanging Dog Ranch. I don't have it in me no more. I saw a calm swing. I I just don't care. I was a married woman. You know what they did to me, and to my husband? Like, you're the only one of these fools that I trust. I've got to do this. Of course we'll help her. I'll tell you what, I'll do it. But there's something you could help me with. Abigail? Jack? John? Make sure they make it. I mean, this whole thing is pretty much done. But when the time comes... Uh, how do you mean? When the time comes, you help them. What do you mean? I mean, help them escape when I... You know, you and me, we're more ghosts than people. But them, they, they could... I know. Of course I will. Thank you, Arthur. You want to ride with me now, or meet me up at Hanging Dog Ranch when you can? Let's ride together. I was going to have a shave, but... <clears throat> Thanks, Arthur. Okay. Come on. <clears throat> Let's do it. Saying that buck. Must be his spirit animal. <clears throat> <clears throat> uh, 
Fine morning for a killing. Huh. Hey. You seen anything down there? Yeah, I think there's a bunch of them down there. I'm mostly drunk. But one of them is a fat fellow with a beard. Him? He's mine. Okay. It's a big ranch. Run down. Lots of folk there. But spread pretty thin. I'll set it off and then we'll... We'll take it from there. Take it from there? Okay. So, no real plan. Don't fuck with Sadie. You okay? Yeah. He was a good man, my Jakey. We was always sweet on one another. I'm sure. Yeah. I miss him every day, every moment. Oh, they turned me into a monster, Arthur. But my memories of him, they still pure. I ain't even got that. Aside from my Jake, you're the best man I've known. I know the company you keep. The competition ain't too fierce. <laughs> we, uh, we should get away from her. Yeah. I think I need to be alone for a bit. I understand. You, uh, I want to get yourself cleaned up. Thank you, Arthur. <sighs> you 
Good on her. She got her revenge. Oh, silver. Not a bad little consolation. Uh, skill the barb without taking any damage. Okay. Still not bad. Headshot the sniper. And we did get it d done pretty quickly, actually. Now, I'm wondering how long we can hang around here for. Because I wouldn't mind getting some loot. Jeez, look at that place. <laughs> Those guys who are like on fire, running around with their, you know, like chooks with their head cut off. That was pretty funny. Not gonna lie. Hell yeah. We really do need to make some money. Um, so, yep, take jewelry. Shit. Alright, time to get out of here. Quickly search the draw. Search the draw. Alright, let's go. Just in time. Easy. Yeah, good boy. Problem is, though, like we can't just wait them out and then go back because <clears throat> cops will still be there. So. Alright, where do we go next? Yeah, because I'm wanted. I do have to wait because I'm wanted. But... I also need to go and buy some ammo. So I'll go to the general store here. Or do I go to Valentine, actually? Yeah, go to Valentine. Might be better. Let's go to the gun store. So I do need to pick up a few things on the way. So we do need to wait. So while we wait, <clears throat> let's clean my horsey. There we go. Yeah, nearly done, boy. Uh, I'm not... The nearest fence, I think, to here is Emerald Ranch. Oh, there's a... What's this? Maybe a quick stranger mission before we finish? Yeah. Got about 10 minutes. Call in on Mr. Black and Mr. White. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll go help those guys. Sure. Oh. Didn't mark it. There we go. I'm for sure go and help those guys. Yeah. Hopefully it'll be a good way to end the episode. Good boy. Well, I know they ain't good, but I'm good enough to see what a blue jay looks like. Hey. This is just... Hey, you all right, mister? Can we, uh, can we help you? I'm fine. Oh, I know you two. Hey, <laughs> look who it is. Oh. <laughs> I barely recognized you boys on account of you not trying to kill each other. Yeah, well, somebody learned his manners, finally. So you boys didn't run away. Now, nobody looking out here. I reckon we're, we're okay. Uh, all right. But the law's pretty, 
Well, it's pretty vigorous these days. I told you we should leave, but did you want to listen? Oh, no. Mr. Hyde Mighty, he don't <laughs> listen to no oh, one. Oh, would you just shut up? I will not. Oh. I will not shut up. You know what? You'll shut up when I shut you up. Oh, that's real funny. I cannot believe it. I'm stuck out here with only you to talk to. I get a better conversation from the goddamn trees. <laughs> I know. I've seen you talking to them. They should have hanged you for being a moron. <laughs> <laughs> You're an unkind man, Mr. Black. Hey. Oh, let me in. Let Let me in. Open the door. Come on, let me in. I'll kill you myself. Go away. Let me in. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Now let me in. Go away. I'm so, I'm I'm I'll make dinner again. All right, I'm, I'm sorry. Say you're sorry again. I'm real sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. All right. So, what did I say? I was going to head to Valentine, was it? Yeah, let's head to Valentine to the gun store and then um what's that so they're not gonna head up here so damn there's no um there's no fence in valentine so that's all right <clears throat> Man, that was funny as. I'm glad I stopped off there, actually. Oh, you need some... A horsey needs some food. Actually, uh, you can see wild carrot. You can have some wild carrot. So, I, so sometimes I actually try and avoid those rabbits. It's not usually uh, the best idea. Yeah, okay, boy. Where's the uh... We're gonna be getting pretty close to level three horse bonding with uh, what's his name again? Buell. Oh, there's a general store here. Even better. So many banks are getting gone these days. Starting to get nervous. This place is going to the dog. Uh I think I can well, buy am I here? Hey there, I don't think I've seen you in here before. No. It's you like I whiskey? I I mean who don't? Take a look on that stand by the door there. That's something special. Okay, buddy. Um, <laughs> oh, I can sell stuff. Uh, show me what you got there. I wonder if you'll... No, they won't buy that. Let's not accept this item. Say, you, you don't look so good, partner. You all right there? Shut up. I've been better, but that's how it goes. Well, I hope you improve soon. I hope you shut your bloody mouth. Wait. 
regular, really. What clothing he's got? Well, yeah, no. Complete oh. waste of time. Oh, horse care items though. Nah. Okay, it's a complete waste of time. I mean, it's not bad. It's like kind of in the middle of nowhere, but. Not really, because Valentine is just there. Okay, so... no trouble. Thanks. Thought I might be able to buy some express armor, but no. Sorry! <laughs> that does always make me laugh. You're all right, boy. Quite a few campfires around here. Yeah. I must say. You're okay, boy. Yeah, good boy. Hey, boy. Good boy. Who the hell is shooting animals and just leaving them there? What a waste. Is our level three? Oh, and look how how much health is uh, health and stamina he's it's got. Holy hell! All right, yeah, definitely a better horse. Not sure about speed, but I think if there is a difference, because this isn't a speed horse, it's more of an all rounder. But I think the difference is negligible. Uh, she's a tough horse. Yeah. Stranger mission here too. It could be a way. My friend, you there? Mm-hmm. Oh, these guys. You know what? We'll deal with them next time. I I do remember these guys. My friend. Yeah, right. I just hang about. We'll deal with you next time. There's a few things I want to do in Valentine. Uh, firstly, let's turn my timer off because I got about a minute to go. There we go. Let's go get some ammo and stuff. Get a haircut, and then. Uh, We'll leave the stranger mission for next time if it still pops up. If it doesn't, then it doesn't. Wait a minute. Is that who I think it is? Yep. Been a long time. Yeah. So, what are you aiming for today? Okay, now let me see. I need goodies. Thank you, sir. I need uh, ammunition. That's more like it. Huh. Okay. Don't care about that either. Uh, gun oil. Good. <clears throat> good. Let's clean my weapons while I'm here. Got what I need. No, I don't actually. Oh, 
customer. I am, oh, mister. You look like you've been on whiskey no stew. You all right? Excuse uh, me? I've been better, but I'm okay. Yeah, rude. All right, well, let me know what you need. That one's clean. Ah, must have cleaned them. Uh, da, 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 da. Varmint. Doesn't need a clean. Rolling block. Doesn't need a clean. I wish I could sell these, because I've already got a Kakane rifle. <sighs> I don't want to spend more money on another one. It's a, it's a really bad bug, that. Hang on. Yeah, I've already... I'm positive. I already had a Kakane rifle. I had one from the... Oh, wait a second. No, carbine repeater. Okay, Kakano rifle. My bad, my bad, my bad. I don't know why, I always get those two mixed up. Kakano rifle and carbine repeater. It's, uh, anyway. Yeah, sure. We'll, uh... One proof things. One scope. Stock, mod, wrap, weather. Um, that was everything there. Okay, styles, metals. Carvings. Eagle. Um, oh, engravings, of course. And we want the blue steel. Uh, leather. Chocolate. Varnish. Mahogany. Done. Now I've got my gold weapons. Beautiful. Right. And Thank you. A quick shave and a haircut. Cut my hair, What's please. Hair. Trim. Short. Thanks. Fine job like this is a walking advertisement. Oh, freaking homemade. Like, what the hell do you take me for? That looks better. Let's go. All right. Yep. Very glad. Thanks for your assistance. And time for a save, and we'll leave it there. So, quite interesting, right? Especially right at the end there, with the uh, those two arguing like a married couple. It was. Um, Quite beautiful, actually. <laughs> anyway, it's time for me to go, and uh, hopefully we'll see you next week. Until then, as I always say, take it easy, everyone, and bye for now.